I am Adil Kumar sharing with you a very basic question on limits of exponential functions. The question here is show that the limit limit x approaches 0 for e to the power of minus 1 over x does not exist. For this particular function does not exist. You can actually pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now to show them, we have to figure out what is the left hand side of the limit and what is the right hand side of the limit, right? So, so we need to approach zero from left side. We say left hand limit. And then we have to also check what happens when we approach from the right hand side, right? So whenever we are approaching zero, these are two critical things which we need to consider. Right? And the approach which I am going to take here will help you solve many similar questions. Correct? So let's see what happens when we are looking at it from the left hand side. So when we say left hand side, that means we are saying when x approaches zero, negative. That is the left hand side and the function is e to the power of minus 1 over x. Correct. Now this limit for the given function, right, let's say we are saying f of x in our case is e to the power of minus 1 over x. Now when we are approaching from the left hand side, what is f of x minus h equals to? That is what we are interested in and especially when x is 0. So what is f of 0 minus h equals to? That is what you have to think about, right? So approaching from left really means this. So in general, x minus h, but since x is approaching 0, so what we do here is since x is approaching 0, we try to connect it with 0. Minus means you are on the left side. Do you agree with me, right? So that is what we change it. So it's the same thing, correct? So, so we'll write what is the limit of this function when it is approaching from the left side. So using this notation, we could actually write the function as, so in this case, if I write minus h here, right? If I write minus h here, then I have to replace x with zero minus h, right? Which is same as e to the power of minus one over minus h or is equal to minus minus cancel e to the power of 1 over h. Is that clear to you? So, so I hope you have understood this concept. Now, this is a very important uh, thing to look into, right? We are going to use this concept many times, right? So, therefore, for the given function, I could actually write this as equal to limit h approaches 0 now, right? So, h is very small. So, in this particular case, we are assuming h is approaching 0, right? So, so where, where we have h approaching 0, but positive, right, h is 0. Something we are, which you are taking away from 0, so you are on the left side. That's the whole idea, right? So limit when h approaches 0 for the function which will now be e to the power of 1 over h. Do you see that part? Now if I substitute h here, this value 1 over 0 is infinitely large so it approaches infinity correct since 1 over 0 approaches infinity is it okay? it's not defined of course but uh, that is how h replaced with 0 you can see the concept do you see that part correct we'll again apply this method to look into the right hand side of the limit so now on the right hand side we can say limit x approaches 0 from the right side of e to the power of minus 1 over x. Correct? So that means we could write this as limit h approaches 0 from e to the power of minus 1 over h. So what have we done here? Again, let's look into it. What have we done here? So we are saying that we are approaching the function from the right side. That means this side. So we are saying, let's say we are very close to origin, right? So we say 0 plus h. Where h is approaching 0, that is the concept. Correct? 
that is a constant. So, so the function now becomes instead of minus 1 over x, it is minus 1 over h, where h is approaching 0. Clear? Now, the limit of this function will be equal to what? If I substitute 0 here, it this becomes infinitely large, right? So, so the limit when h approaches 0 for e to the power of this, which is like, now it is in the denominator, right? So minus means it comes to the denominator, okay? Of, uh, uh, so, so 1 over e to the power of 1 over h, correct? That is what it is. Now, if h is approaching 0, it is infinitely large. So it is kind of 1 over infinity. So you are approaching, approaching 0, right? So in this case, on the right-hand side, you can think about limit x approaches 0 plus for e to the power of minus 1 over x is, is 0, right? So from both these things, what do you conclude? We see that the limit when x approaches 0 from the left side for e to the power of minus 1 over x is not equal to the limit when x approaches 0 from the right side for e to the power of minus 1 over x. Therefore, limit does not exist. Correct? So that is how you could show it. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Perfect. Now, based on this concept, we have a multiple choice question for you. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So I'll provide you with a link on the solution of this question. However, I'll appreciate if you could now answer this particular question, which is kind of similar to what we did. I hope you like it. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your interest and all the best.